Hey everybody, it's Cassie, and today I'm going to be showing you all of the goodies that I got at Aquatic Experience 2019 in Secaucus, New Jersey. It was my first year going. It was amazing. <laughs> um, we don't really have anything like that in my neck of the woods. I'm in New York, near Rochester. Um, we have Rexpo, which is coming up soon. It's the Rochester Reptile Expo. It's the closest thing we have to Aquatic Experience, but... Rexpo's got nothing on AE. It was an amazing time and I still miss everybody that I was hanging out with. I miss Liz, one fish, two fish, ROC. She's literally right down the street and we talk every day, but I'm still like, oh God. I miss Susie Q Aquatics. I was able to meet her in person. It was so cool. Donnie New York Gold was just hilarious and was it was just amazing to meet everybody. Um, and I had such a blast. I cannot wait for next year. Um, Susie actually entered her fish in the American Cichlid Association's um, contest, the cichlid contest that they held, and that really inspired me, and I'm thinking I might bring Blue next year to show. I don't know yet, but um, we'll see. So today I just wanted to show you some of the goodies that I got, um, show you all of the wonderful things that I was able to pick up while I was there. So let's get into it. So I have a lot of art in my room. I actually picked this up from Benson's Fish Room. They were selling it. It's not done by them. It's um, done by Scales Nature Artist. I will put a link in the description um, and the actual name on the screen. Um, but it is a female German blue ram. As you know, I absolutely love rams. I saw this, had to have it. So um, she's going to be finding a home somewhere in my room here if I can find room. <laughs> Next thing I got is from Benson's Fish Room. It's a tank. I believe it's a two gallon tall. Um, it was 40 bucks and I really couldn't pass it up. I really like how the footprint of it is going to be, um, the profile. I'm excited to scape it and it's small enough that I can find room for it somewhere and still do something kind of cool with it. I'm assuming just shrimp, but if you have any stocking ideas, let me know. Next thing I got, freshwater mangrove plants. I, I wasn't too sure. Um, these were sold by Nocturnal Aquarist. Um, I believe his name's Paul. Uh, he said that they thrive in water that has a high amount of nitrate. So I've been keeping these in my hang on back filter like a lot of people do with um, pothos in bamboo and he said that that's an ideal environment for them. Um, he said they don't need anything super special with light, and I'm already noticing more growth on the tops of them, um, and root growth as well. So yeah, I just have these tucked in my hang on back, and they've been doing pretty well. He said you can um, break the tops off and two more will grow out of it. I'm not going to risk that yet, <laughs> maybe someday. Um, but I just thought these were really cool and I had to get some so I've got these and I will post his information down below as well. So vivariums in the mist. I see them at Rexpo and now I saw them at AE and I couldn't help it. I got two cultures of springtails, one for my friend Abby, one for me for June's terrarium. Um, I also got dwarf purple isopods for her terrarium as well as a little cleanup crew for all your doo-doo. Um, I also picked up some Salvinia um, from them. I did get some from them last Rexpo. It didn't do very well and I'm not sure why. Um, so I figured I'd try it again. So I've got some in um, Roku's tank over here. I've got some in the three that's right here. <laughs> And I've got some in a new tank that I will be showing you in another video. Um, but I just, I really like the plant. It looks really cool. And I'm hoping I can get it to grow this time. Also from Vivariums in the Mist, um, they do sell Tannin Aquatics um, supplies. So I did get some mini lotus pods, which um, I did have, I did buy some last Rexpo. 
um, and my shrimp absolutely destroyed them. So I figured I would get some more because they liked them so much. So um, I picked up some more at the Vivariums in the Mist booth. Next plant I got was from the Aqua Girls setup booth area. Um, they had a lot of really cool tissue cultures and I would have bought more, but I'm just trying to take it slow. So um, I got this one, which is, forgive me, Plagiominium Epheme. I believe it's called Pearl Moss. Um, I attached some to some lava rock already that's in my three gallon and it's been doing pretty well. So I'm excited to see if I can propagate it. Um, and I have more plans for this stuff in my other new tank. So um, we'll see. So between Liz, Susie, and myself, a lot of time and money was spent at the My Aquarium Box booth. Worth it. So prepare for the onslaught of botanicals. <laughs> so this is a small amount of what I got. I've already split it up between my tanks and gifted some to my friends who weren't able to make it. So... Um, yeah, this is where I enjoyed spending a lot of my time. So, banana stems. Various pods. I don't know what, I don't know what they are. I'll, I'll put them down on the screen if I... Catalpa leaves. I've never done leaves in my tanks before, just various other botanicals like pods and stuff. So um, I am excited to see how these work. I'm going to put them with my new fish. I'm just gonna keep teasing the next video. Um, <laughs> these are also from the My Aquarium Box area. Um, so I'm excited to see if, um, if my guys like these. I also got a small piece of Malaysian driftwood that I'm going to use to scape my new tank with. Um, they had a ton of them and the price was right, but I liked the character on this one a little bit better. I think it would, I'm gonna do something cool with it. Hopefully. This is actually a gift from Donnie. Thanks, Donnie. I'm going to um, put this in with the rams as a nice little little hidey hut for them. Um, so yes, this one came from Donnie. This monster is a palm seed pod. Um, monkey pods, which I've already tried, and my Amano shrimp absolutely love them. They like hiding out in them. So I got this one thinking that it's a little more open, so maybe my rams would like to go in there and lay um, eggs and such. But yeah, just cool things that, you know, it was really cool. It was just like a pick and mix bar. It was like, I'll take an ounce of that, an ounce of that, and an ounce of that, and... So yes, we got a lot from my aquarium box. We got we got a lot of stuff. Um, Liz, I think, got the most. She had a laundry basket full by the time we were loading our cars up. Um, and at one point, Mike told me to make sure that Liz came back the next day because I think she was their number one customer during the whole time at Aquatic Experience. Um, <laughs> but we had already planned on buying a lot of botanicals and it was really cool to be able to hand pick the stuff that you wanted. Um, if you wanted a pod that was a little bit wider or flatter or whatever for the certain fish that you had, you could hand pick it. It was really cool. Um, so I, I really enjoyed their booth. They're just very nice people um, and they have some absolutely amazing stuff. Last but not least was also from Benson's Fish Room. Um, it is this Stingray light here that I have on June's terrarium. I wanted a light for all of the plants that are in here um, because they were all leaning towards my window. So I figured a light would be helpful and Liz actually got it for me for my birthday, um, which was on the 7th, which is very kind of her. 
Um, it's got a night mode and then it's got a day mode and um, yeah, it's been pretty cool. It's a really nice light and the price was very good. And Overall, I had an absolutely amazing time at Aquatic Experience and I would not have been able to do it if it hadn't been for Liz. Um, she was really encouraging. She knows that I'm fairly anxious in new situations, so she made this whole trip just as easy on me as she could, and she took such good care of me. Um, Susie and Donnie were so welcoming, and we just instantly were, you know, like we had known each other for forever. Um, it was an I had amazing. so much fun. I met so many amazing people. I was really struggling to remember everybody's names, um, but I, I met Amber from Big City Betas, Mike from the Fish Tank Barn, Chris from Multi Tank Addiction, Rack from River Life, KG Tropicals, Scott and Liz from King and Queen Cichlids. Um, they actually invited us out to dinner. We had dinner with Mark DeFranco, Neil Frank, Two Tran, who I will be talking about later. Um, it was it was just amazing meeting the guys at my aquarium box and um flip aquatics it was it was just really cool and i had a blast and i could not stop smiling i was just so happy to be there um even on the way home i was just i was just so happy except for the whole time i was driving in new jersey like what the hell is that but then after that it was great um it, I, I cannot wait for next year. I, I really just had such an amazing time. And yeah, um, I did get one more thing, two more things actually, but that's for the next video. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, I will see you next time. Next thing I got from Benson's Fish Room is this tank. It is a two gallon tall. Um, what? Um, catalpa leaves. I haven't done anything with leaves really in my tanks, mostly just pods and... Why did I say pods like that? I'm turning into Donnie. Pander. I also got catalpa leaves. I have never tried leaves in my tanks before, mostly just pods. Why am I saying pods like that? I also got this Malaysian driftwood. What are you doing? What the fuck? <laughs>